Hey friends, it's Marlon Gibbons. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to go over a bit of a review of my new guitar. This is an Ibanez Arcore Expressionist. The model number is an AM93. And uh, I just want to share with you uh, kind of what my experience has been with this guitar and uh, why I'm happy that I, I did get it. Cheers, stick around. Okay, so the basic makeup of the guitar is a uh, quilted maple top sides and back. The pickups, I could probably do a whole video on just the pickups alone. Um, I love them. They're Super 58s. They're humbuckers. My personal opinion is that I, I don't find that they're stereotypical of a humbucker pickup. In the interest of time, I would say Google uh, Super 58 pickups. They're, um, I don't know what to say about them. I just, I love the sound, the tone they have. So moving on, the the neck is a, a three-piece set of neck, maple mahogany block inlays, as you can see. That was another thing, too. The, the other guitars that I looked at in its class uh, didn't have the block inlays. Um, and if they did, then all the other components just didn't, weren't up to par, um, in my opinion, or what I was looking for. Um, so block inlays, frets are medium. So obviously, at a, at a quick glance, it, it's it's what I would consider a flashy guitar. This will probably draw more attention to me than, than I would want as a guitar player. I'm not a flashy guitar player at all. However, some of the criteria that I had on my list when I was looking for this guitar was something that, that could cover like a warm roots kind of sound, uh, folk rock, blues, R&B. Um, and, and another cool thing about this guitar, you know, for me is that my family helped pitch in to buy this as a gift for me. So that was, uh, that was pretty neat too. So it's, it's got some sentimental value to it. Okay, so the pickups. Um, I should explain first, what you're hearing is an amp, it's a Vox AC10. Um, the volume's set really low, so you're not really hearing any characteristic of those that tube-driven warm sound because the volume's so low. If I were to turn it up, it would absolutely distort the microphone on the camera, and it just, it just wouldn't work. So, what you're hearing is just for me to illustrate um, the, the functionality of the guitar, not necessarily representative of the tone. Having said that, I do have pedals in front of me. They're not engaged at all. A lot of this is just basic information, um, but for those of you who are, are wondering about the guitar, um, top position is kind of a warmer, darker tone. Um, and when the top position is engaged, these two top dials are what are active. So you have your volume and you have your tone. So, right, um, middle position, both, it's a blend of the two. Um, a little bit different tone. It's still got a bit of that warmth and bass, but it's also got a bit more brightness for obvious reasons, because we're including the bridge pickup. Um, all four dials become active, or all four pots. Um, volume in both cases, so you blend how much you want of either pickup, and the same applies to tone. Both are active. Um, and then of course, in the bottom position, um, so yeah, that, that's kind of a quick overview of the, uh, the pickups. Okay, so when I got this guitar, I had two purposes in mind. Uh, one is here in the studio, um, in writing projects and that kind of thing. But, I, but what I did want to do live with this, this guitar is um, I do a lot of solo work and uh, I'm also half of a duo. Um, and in both cases, it's kind of an acoustic presentation. Um, amplified, but acoustic. Um, and in, in those cases, I wanted to be able to give a bit more in sound without pulling out a Les Paul or a Strat or a Tele or something like that. Um, uh, you know, that warm tube driven sound uh, without distortion or overdrive. Um, so, and I felt that this could do that. So I'm just gonna go over a few of the, um, um, I guess, examples of, of genre that, that, um, that I play live with this uh, guitar. Okay, so I'm just going to engage a little bit of tremolo. Another sound that uh, I was kind of going after was kind of that 
rockabilly swing 50s, 60s, uh, and to do that I'm, I'm using a, a slapback echo, which is, in this case, just the TC Electronics um, flashback mini delay. Uh, it's got tons of settings in it, but basically it's, it's this sound. <laughs> swing kind of feel to it um, and that's a lot to do in part with the slap back a little bit of reverb otherwise no pedals no effects uh, in a split position clean sound where there's a, no gain at all, um, just uh, the bass and treble are midnight, um, no pedals, just uh, again split position and it's just that. Uh <laughs> guys so much for checking out this stuff um, I love the guitar but really um, if you're a guitar player you're looking for a guitar you can do as I did you can do all the research um, all the research you want and all the videos and I'll look at all the specs but until you get it in your hands and you feel it and you hear it with your rig in your environment um, I mean that's that's really gonna be um, what really sells a guitar Feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what, uh, what you guys are using as far as your rig. Um, and uh, and yeah, as always, thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, feel free to share the channel and please subscribe if you uh, if you like what you're hearing and seeing. Um, cheers, friends. <laughs>